What's up? Welcome to Reflections and Encouragement with Mike Brown. I'm Mike Brown. For those who are tuning in for the first time, welcome. And for those who are tuning in once again, welcome back. As always, my goal each week is to share something that hopefully inspires you as you approach the week ahead. Today is Monday, July 5th, 2021, and it's my daughter's birthday. Baby girl is now four years old. Happy birthday, Harper. I love you. I remember the day she was born like it was yesterday, and I can't believe uh, she's already four. So we've been celebrating her all week, and celebration continues even yet today. As I reflect on this past week, a number of things happened. One, my RA from my dorm, my freshman year, Joe Burlog was in town with his daughter and wife, had a chance to see them. Another, another friend, Jason Lanine, was in town. Another guy I lived in the dorm with back in college. Uh, and we ended up my, we ended our fiscal year at Notre Dame which wrapped up my sixth fiscal year at the university. And that was an absolute blessing. And really, as I looked at heading into the end of the fiscal year and approaching the next half of the year, I, I thought about personal journeys and how for me, right, it was the, the end of a, an actual year, but for many people it wasn't, right? It was the middle point. And I just thought about how there's a, a personal journey that we all have uh, relative to everyone else. And, and where that really ties into it, when it comes to my encouragement is I think about independence as a, a personal journey. And I try to really take it back to times in our lives where we gain our independence from various things that are maybe holding us back, uh, that, are, that are maybe keeping us from either growing uh, and learning as as people. And so I look at it as a personal journey. And so I don't just celebrate necessarily Independence Day on the 4th. Uh, it's, it's more an ongoing celebration of independence as it happens in my life, as I break away and become liberated from things that hold me back. I, I think about the message that I've shared with, with, with some of you about my my dad and I in the conversation we had two years ago about our relationship. And the lunch that I had with my dad, that's the day I gained my independence uh, from the weight of dealing with what was in my heart around how he made me feel. And because I had that conversation, for me, when it comes to my relationship with my dad, that was my independence day. Uh, there's other things that uh, I'm, I'm struggling with in life or have struggled with in life. And it's the times in which I, I confront those things and navigate those things and really free myself up from those things. Those are the things and the days and the times in which I consider those days my Independence Day. So as you approach this week ahead and as we come on the heels of Independence Day for our country, what I encourage you to do is maybe have a look at what are some of the things that are holding you back? What are some of the things uh, that are keeping you from being your full self, your best version of yourself? What are those things and how can you work toward gaining independence and becoming more, being liberated from them in your life this week? All right, that's my encouragement. Give it some thought. Take care.